Awesome. So welcome everybody to my free call, our free call called Engagement for the Creation of Business. So I'm so grateful that you're all here. This has been translated into four different languages. So we've got Russian, Hungarian, French, and Portuguese. <laughs> I almost forgot here as well. So it's funny, there was almost over 200, oh, over 200 people registered live for this call and I had the awareness a few hours ago that I think by Zoom only actually like, you're only allowed to have 100 participants on live. So I upgraded my Zoom account, which is awesome, but there's not as many of you on live. So that's all good, we're <laughs> all good to go. So um, just for you guys' awareness, I've muted most of you. If you have any questions tonight, please feel free to unmute yourself. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have as well. So please feel free to contribute. Like this call is for you guys really. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, my name's Ashley Rose. I'm an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator, so recent Certified Facilitator. And I was a BARS facilitator for 12 months before that. So I spent 12 months creating an Access BARS business with ease and joy, and I had so much fun doing it. And I was actually able to quit my um, day job. So I'm actually a registered nurse in Australia. I was able to quit that and no longer, because I no longer needed the in income. So I did a free call a few weeks ago with uh, someone in the UK about creating and marketing access bars. And it's funny, I was like, I didn't even realize I had a capacity with doing that. And we did the call and um, Lawrence, which is one of the French translators on here, she said, I didn't realize, you know, the, almost the importance of engagement with creating business. And she said, what if we did a free call about that? So this is where we are today, doing a free call about engagement for the source of creation of your business. So again, thank you all for being here. So for any of you that don't know Access Consciousness or don't know the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement, I'm going to be using that a lot tonight as well. So the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement is weird sentence, right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Basically, it's like a magic wand that's used to like clear all the energies behind and below everything that's sticking you with what we're talking about. Because 98% of the stuff that stick us is actually energetic. We don't have words for it. And so we actually use this clearing statement to clear all of the stuff that's energetic that we're not even aware of to get you unstuck and to be able to create the business that you actually know is possible as well. So for more information, you can go to theclearingstatement.com. So I know most of you guys on here probably know Access Consciousness, have at least done a bars class, um, but who knows where anyone else has come from from my social media. <laughs> so awesome. So everything that you've defined engagement as, that it's not, can we just drone and create all of that? Yes. Right, on good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So everything you've misidentified and misapplied engagement as, we just ran and create all of that as well. Right, no, good and bad, bon, poc, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So engagement for me is actually an invitation to choosing and creating something greater. It's an invitation to actually recognize the possibilities that are actually available to you in the world. So you have to actually engage to create a business. And it doesn't actually matter what business that is. So everywhere you're not willing to engage to create the business you know is possible because it seems like too much effort or too much work, we just try and create it all times a gazillion. Right, one good and bad, fun, poco, nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So you actually can't sell. It's actually about engagement. So in the wise words of Gary Douglas, engagement leads to possibilities and selling actually leads to limitation. So everything that brings up, we just drain and create it all times a gazillion. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what happens when we actually try and sell business? So if we're talking about getting clients like on your massage table, if we're talking about getting people to your classes and any other business you have for that matter, when we actually try and sell, this reality tells us that we have to sell to make money. But what that does is when we're functioning from this reality and when we're marketing from this reality, we always make it about, we make it about how many bums on seats we're going to get 
or how many clients we're actually going to, you know, that are going to show up to our sessions. So everywhere you've decided that you must sell in order to create your business, we destroy and uncreate at all times like a gazillion. Right on good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And everywhere you're making business far harder than it needs to be and everything that doesn't allow it to be ease, joy and glory, we destroy and uncreate all of that as well. Right on good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So I don't know if many of you are aware, but marketing, marketing in this reality is all about like problem. What's wrong with you? Like there's something wrong with you. And then you actually need to have a session. You need to go to this class. You need to do this in order to actually almost like heal yourself in order to, for you to not be as messed up as you, you've actually decided you be. But that always leads to limitations because when you're actually trying to sell someone something, it's like you stick them with that problem that was probably never theirs to the begin with. You stick them with that thing that they've then decided is so real and it actually leads to limitations in their life. Engagement is how much can I change the world? Engagement is what else is actually possible that you don't know is possible. So when it comes to my access bars business, I didn't realize that I was actually engaging with the world. I didn't realize how much I was doing it and how much that had created the business that I knew was possible. So how many of you have actually decided that you have to tell someone why they need to choose your class instead of actually ask them a question and allow them to choose what they're going to choose? So everything that brings up, we just strain and create at all times a gazillion. Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So engagement is the invitation to something more, more possibilities, a greater reality. And it's all about expanding someone's world in some way to create a different world with more possibilities in it. And what actually happens is when you're willing to engage with the world, when you're willing to start being interested in people instead of interesting, you start to create the planet as like a greater set of choices and a greater set of possibilities, whether they choose your class or have a session with you or not. So engagement is actually never about telling anyone anything. And it's actually about creating the question that allows them to choose what they're going to choose. So everything that brings up, we just don't and create it all times like a gazillion. Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Oh, sorry, Christina, I just saw your comment. <laughs> I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry, translators. <laughs> awesome. So, cool. So, what energy, space, consciousness and choice, magic, miracles, mysteries and possibilities can you and your body be to engage with the creation of possibility with total ease for all eternity. And everything that doesn't allow that, we just don't create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, put and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And what engagement can you be with the world today to create a greater possibility for everyone? So everything that doesn't allow that, we just don't create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, put and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So when we're talking about, and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to unmute yourself as well or pop them in the chat. So when we're actually talking about engagement, it's like how many of you guys have actually decided that you need to tell someone what they're actually going to get out of a session or a class with you and kind of give them all the information, <laughs> thinking that they're not actually going to choose something if they don't have all the information. So everything that is, I'm sick of doing, we just run and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, fun, fuck, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So I was listening to a call that Gary and Dane did recently about uh, promoting and marketing. And Dane was talking about the idea of being the bioenergetic nurturing that creates a different possibility for people and then invites a different possibility for people. So what energy, space, consciousness and choice can you and your body be to be the bioenergetic nurturing that invites people to a greater possibility with total ease? So everything that that is and everything that doesn't allow it with total ease, joy and glory, we destroy and create it all. 
right among good and bad, pon pok, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So at Energy Space, Consciousness and Choice, Magic, Miracles, Mysteries and Possibilities, can you and your body be to be the bioenergetic nurturing that invites people to a greater possibility with total ease? So everything that is, time to get Zoe and we destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pon pok, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So I'm still talking too fast. <laughs> Sorry, translators, I'll go slow. <laughs> awesome. So when we talk about the bioenergetic nurturing, it's really about inviting people to something different. I mean, how many of you have ever chosen a class or to have a session with someone when they've just given you this like download of information and almost like vomited on you of like what you'll get out of it because they're actually so excited <laughs> about what they're actually choosing and what they actually can offer you. That was me. <laughs> I often vomited just like it was like word vomit of like, have you tried the access bars? Oh my God, they're amazing. Like you've got to do a class, you've got to do a session. It was just like word vomit. And then I realized that that's actually the part about selling that Gary talks about that actually creates limitations because people are going to choose what they're going to choose. And if you like give them too much information about what you have to offer, it doesn't put any question in their world for them to actually choose anything different and for them to be invited to a greater possibility. We think that because this thing has changed our lives, like for me, the access bars, it's like we believe that we have to tell them everything in order to them to, for them to choose. But what that does often is it actually stops them from choosing because you've almost given them everything that they would actually get in a class or a session with you. So everything that is times a gazillion, we just drain and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So engagement is the question with the person instead of what can you conclude about what the person will actually get out of choosing your services. So every way you're not willing to instill question in people's realities, will you destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Every way you've decided that instilling question in people's realities and not telling them what they should choose is going to actually limit your business and limit who and what shows up, will you destroy and uncreate it all times a gazillion? Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So Alicia says, so it's like enticing or inviting. Yeah, it's like, it's like that energy that you be. If we're talking about you know, access bars and access consciousness and what you've got out of classes. It's like the energy and the excitement that you be is actually the engagement with the molecules of the universe. The energy that you be is actually then what engages with the molecules in them for them to actually start choosing something greater. Engagement has everything to do with who you be and nothing to do with what you do. It's who you be that actually creates in great engagement in other people's universes. So everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive the gift that you be and the engagement that you actually know is possible, we just join and create a real time to Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. And everywhere you've bought the point of view that what you do is what actually actualizes your business and actualizes, actualizes having people show up in your business, we destroy and create all of that as well. Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So engagement is really about expanding someone's world in any way to create more possibilities in it because that's the primary target of access consciousness and I'm sure that's the primary reason and target for you too for you choosing it. So it can only occur when you're actually engaging with people as well. So everything that doesn't allow you to truly engage with people with total ease, joy and glory, we destroy and uncreate at all times a gazillion. Right, wrong, good and bad, pon, pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyond. Oh, it's 
very windy somewhere. <laughs> I'm just going to mute everyone. Awesome. So engagement is not only actually talking to someone. Ashley? Yes. Ashley, I think I think Christina has her hand up. She was like, "Oh, sorry, babe." No, no, it's all good. Christina, do you have a question, or would you like to mute yourself? Unmute yourself. <laughs> yes. Um, so we got a question. Um, Aniko was saying from the Hungarian group that is that mean then uh, doing marketing um, has a bad effect on my business. So if I do marketing, can you just talk about more the difference between the difference. marketing and how does it come together without, without pushing people yes. or how do you advertise yourself without being pushy? Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, so Gary talks about like marketing and promotion. It's actually about often about seeing like the problem, like focusing on the problem and then telling people why they should choose your product or your service. When we actually talk about engaging, it's about inviting someone to a different possibility. Because remember, there's no amount of forcing you can do to someone for them to choose a class or a session with you. Like no amount. People choose what they choose because they choose it. And there's nothing you can be, do, create or generate that would make someone choose something if they don't desire that. So when we talk about engagement, say on social media, when we talk about engagement with emails, Gary always talks about that emails and social media are not engagement. That's merely information. And I'm sure a lot of you have realized since coronavirus has actually, you know, come to fruition, everyone's like jumped on social media, everyone's sending emails and it's just like, there's like so much noise. And I mean, how many of you are actually reading emails anyway? If I pull up an email and it's got too much information in it, I delete it without even reading it. So you can engage through social media and with emails, but engagement is instilling a question in people's worlds. So Gary really talks about like engaging on social media by asking lots of questions. If you're sending an email, ask questions. Just one line, two lines, three lines. But what if you asked different questions? So I guess as an example, promoting my three part telecall series that's coming up about um, creating an access bars business. Instead of telling people when I was marketing and promoting why they should choose it, how it's going to be awesome and, you know, their business is going to change. That's the sales. That's me trying to create people in my class. That's creating limitation in their world because what if something else was possible beyond what you've told them they can get out of it? If we jump over to actually being engaged, you ask questions. So, for me, engaging is like, what if you could create an access bars business with total ease, joy and glory? What if it was possible to quit your day job? What if you could actually change the world and make money in the process? Do you get like the different energy? It's like it instills like this question and possibility in people's worlds and they will forever be wondering <laughs> what would actually be created if they choose that class. And that's what gets people to choose. It's not you actually telling them why they should choose what you're selling because they're all going to get something different out of it. So does that, does that um, answer your question? She's just finishing translating. <laughs> We'll keep going and then, um, oh, cool. She's going to unmute herself. Yeah, thank you. Um, she said uh, she understood. She got it. You know, you get it when awesome. you get it. So she you get got it. it when thank you. you. Yeah, of course. No worries at all. Um, so, yeah, it's like um, Gary always talks about engagement over the internet. It's like it actually doesn't accomplish much. 
it's like your willingness to then in like ask the questions that actually will create something. So I know with my access bars business, like, yes, I used to post a lot on social media and post in um, um, community like notice boards and, and groups, but it was merely information. Then when everyone actually chose and pressed interested in attending my event, I would then engage with them individually. I would send them a message or I'd call them and actually say, Hey, I saw you're interested in my event. I'm just wondering if you'd like any more information without expecting that they choose my class or they don't choose their class. So all the projections, expectations, separations, judgments, and rejections you have of people, whether they choose your class or not, we just train and create it all times like a gazillion. Right, man, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Because most of you will probably know as soon as you expect or project something of someone, you or them have to then judge, which creates a separation and rejection, which means and equals them probably not choosing your class. So interestingly enough, the more you don't care whether someone chooses a class or a session with you or not, or, or another service that you're offering, the more people will choose your class. So particularly for this telecall, I mean, it's free. So I had no expectations and over 200 people registered. And I've really noticed with the bars classes I've done that have been massive. It's when I've had no expectations. I was literally just interesting point of view. Interesting point of view if anyone chooses this class. What if I was just actually putting it on for fun? Because I enjoy doing them so much. So, what JLs are you using to create the dominance of E equals MC squared? As always, projecting and expecting, which equals your classes are smaller than you'd like them to be, are you choosing? So, everything that is times a gazillion, we just don't create it all. Right, on getting bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So, yeah, it's like really, Gary says, if you engage with five to six people a day and engage meaning in a conversation, so over the phone, you call them or you engage with like the guy at the coffee shop, you engage with someone walking their dog near you, then that will equal 10 to 15 people actually showing up in your classes. However, it's not logical or linear. It doesn't mean that those people that you engage with will choose your classes. But what happens, it's like when you're engaging with people and you're instilling possibilities into their universe, you're getting them to recognize that something else is actually possible beyond what they're choosing to create as their life. The universe does this funny thing. The universe consciousness has your back. And then the universe will send you all of these people that show up as if by magic that you may have never even engaged with before that actually choose your classes. So, so Ash, yes. Sorry. Honey. So when you're engaging with those people, so not even having to mention the class or just yes. being you Absolutely. and inviting them to go, Oh, I wonder what, what's different about you or yep. yeah. That's Absolutely. Sort of, so yeah. it's like engagement is being interested not interesting. Yeah. So uh, when we, I mean, a lot of us in this world, how many of us are quite self-absorbed? It's just, you know, kind of what, what we're taught. We don't even realize that we're quite self-absorbed. And we often function from the kingdom of, kingdom of me instead of the kingdom of we. So when you engage with someone with no projections, no expectations, no point of view, and you're interested and I mean, literally just have a conversation. Hey, how's your day been? What coffee are you drinking? Like, oh yeah, do you walk your dog here often? Literally, it's that engagement that instills possibilities in their world because it's like the molecules of your body and your being are engaging with the molecules of their body and being. And the cool thing is oftentimes, I mean, how many of you realize, for me, if I've asked someone questions for 15 minutes straight, Oftentimes, it's very rare that they won't then ask a question back. So then that kind of creates an engagement. And it's very rare for me to actually engage with someone without them asking me what I do. And then it's like this beautiful segue, again, without having any expectations. But you just say, oh, I do this thing that kind of, you know, clears all the stuff in your head. And it's like, make it really non-significant. <laughs> make it really like, yep, cool, I do this thing. It's awesome, but also have no point of view. Like, what if you actually 
began to function like you had a hundred million dollars in your account that was replenished every year and the money actually wasn't even required for the people that showed up in your classes. <laughs> so everywhere you're making your classes, your sessions about the money that you actually earn, the money that will actually show up in your bank account, rather than the possibilities that you can actually instill into someone's universe. We destroy and uncreate at all times a gazillion. Right, wrong, good and bad, fun, fuck, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah, it doesn't mean talking about what we do at all. It means the willingness to be interested, whether they ask you a question or not. And I know um, Gary says, like he calls his sister once a month and he's constantly asking her questions and she never, ever, ever once asks a question back. But it's like, what if, like, are you actually okay if no one ever actually asks you a question back? Because you're actually still instilling those amazing possibilities into people's worlds, which means the universe is sending you people to actually show up for your sessions and classes that you didn't even think was possible. So everything that is times the gazillion where you destroyed and created all. Right, hunk and bad pun, fuck all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Does that answer your question, honey? Does that? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Ashley, we have yeah. Eamon with, uh, he had his hand up. I think, oh. I don't know, Eamon, he or she? Yes. I'm sorry. Amen. It's a he. Uh, Actually, like, like I'm having this question because, see, when I make a access bars class right now, I'm a bo uh, body access body practitioner and even an access bar facilitator. Mm -hmm. So the issue which I'm facing and like which I saw recently when I'm knowing myself more and more, mm -hmm. I'm having this issue about jealousy. You know, like once I see someone else, the first the first point of view that pops up is like. Oh my God, they, are, they have less awareness than me. They're less consciousness than me. And how they're creating more than me. Yeah. You know? Cool. And, and when, when, when I start clearing it up, clearing it up, but still I know that there is something huh, that I'm not getting. Because see, uh, I, I always travel between uh, Turkey and uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Like I come, I come and go. So mm -hmm. when, when, when I was in Turkey, without mentioning any names, like when I was in Turkey, there were a few bars facilitators. They were like, listen, you can't make the bar business in Turkey because there are a lot of bar facilitators. I was oh. like, okay. But when I came to Saudi Arabia, I made my first class, uh, quarantine have started. Cool. Okay. So it's, it's, and right now when I see people are doing it online, you know, ask bars class, you know, I'm just having that question mark that Gary have preferred not to do it and how you guys are doing it. Awesome. Okay. So first of all, everything that is all the decisions, the conclusions, the computations and judgments you have of you and you have of your creations where you destroy and uncreate at all times, a gazillion. Right, wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So truth, is that jealousy actually yours? Yes or no? Uh, it's a yes. Okay, cool. So everything that is, we destroy and uncreate it all. Right, yes. wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So truth, jealousy is actually a distractor implant. Have you done a foundation class? Yeah, I did the foundation class and even I memorized the distractor implant. Cool. So jealousy is actually a distractor implant. Distractor implants are one, not real. We create them. And distractor implants are designed to distract us from being and having all of us. So everywhere yeah. you're using jealousy, to stop you from being and having all of you and out creating everyone in the whole entire universe and creating your bars classes bigger than you ever imagined possible where you just strain and create at all times a gazillion. Yes. Right, man, getting bad, putting pork all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So all the distracted implants of jealousy, we just strain and create them. Yes. Right, man, getting bad, putting pork all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Everything underneath that, maintaining it and keeping it in place, we just strain and create it as well. Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And all the Mobius strips and quantum particulates underneath that again, maintaining it and keeping it in place, we destroy and create at all times a gazillion. Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what would it take for you to outcreate everyone with their bars classes? Because how much of the jealousy that you're creating and experiencing, how much of that is actually stopping you from out creating everything and everyone and creating 
bars classes that are far bigger than you ever imagined possible. So much. Cool. So would you be willing to give that up now? Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cool. So everything that doesn't allow you to give that up with total Easter and glory, we destroy and create at all times a gazillion. Yes. Right. Man, getting bad pot and pork or nine shorts, boys and beyonds. I'm going to say the C word that everyone hates, but what if it was just choice? And what energy, space, consciousness, and choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities can you and your body be to outcreate yourself every day for all eternity? And everything that doesn't allow, yeah. we destroy and create it all. Right, man, good, yes. bad, pot, and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And all the fixed points of view and fixed lies, fixed thoughts, fixed feelings, fixed emotions you're buying into that you've bought as real and true, where you've been told that you are not able to create bars classes in Turkey because everyone else is doing so. We just run and create it all times a gazillion. Yes. Right, man, good, bad, pot, and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So I live on the Sunshine Coast um, in Australia. There's more bars facilitators here than I know, like I, like almost anywhere else. Like there's a lot of us in a very small radius. We all post in the same groups. We all have a lot of the same mutual friends. Except if I had to let that stop me from creating my bars classes and from putting myself out there, I wouldn't actually be doing this and I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am today. But it's like I made the demand of me and the choice to keep choosing. Because here's the thing, there's going to be people that choose my bars classes that would never have chosen a bars class with someone else. And then there's going to be people that choose, say, Gabby's bars class that would never, ever choose a bars class with me because it's something that Gabby's being that invites them to choose something different and invites them to a greater possibility. So if we stopped ourselves from putting ourselves out there and creating bars classes just because there was a lot of other facilitators, Imagine all the people that actually will never find access consciousness or the bars because you haven't actually created classes. So everything that brings up and every way you're being selfish for not creating more bars classes, then you know it's possible. We just drain and create at all times a gazillion. Yes. Right on getting bad fun for corner and short spoils of yours. <laughs> How's that? Actually, literally, you make me feel so sleepy after the clearing statement. <laughs> How so did thank you get that you. <laughs> You're so welcome. You might want to re-listen to that section a few times. Yeah, thank yep. you. You're so welcome. Um, does anyone else have any questions while we're on it? If not, that's totally fine. Hey, Ashley, it's Alan. Hi, I Alan. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, I have a question. You mentioned like you had this free Zoom that we're on and you didn't have any expectations about it. And then a bunch of people signed up and you were like, oh, great. And I just realized actually today or earlier this evening that like I don't have that. Like I have a free call tomorrow, actually. And it's like I realized I wasn't being grateful for the people who did sign up and I was like wanting more people to sign up. and. Mm -hmm checking the registration numbers every day and I'm wondering if I if I just need to add more to my life or how to like cool so is it just okay cool so all the projections and expectations you have of your free call <laughs> the judgments yeah. the separations and rejections will you destroy and create at all times a gazillion yeah right wrong good and bad pot and pork all nine shorts boys and beyonds and everything you've decided concluded or computated about your free call before you even created your free call yeah okay <laughs> we just run and create all of that <laughs> yeah right wrong good bad point pork all nine shorts boys me on so that free call like i do that for all my events and they all fucking have nobody who pays cool so can i ask you a question yeah what have you decided about your business that everybody should come to it because it's fucking brilliant <laughs> and i'm brilliant and they should listen to what i have to say Oh, is that actually true? Yes or no? no. <laughs> <laughs> so everywhere you're lying to you, yeah. <laughs> instead of actually being aware of what's sticking you, we just join and create it all time to get in. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, put and poke, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So truth, what have you decided about your business that you're pretending not to know that if you knew it would change everything? So 
So everything that doesn't allow you to have total clarity with it for all eternity, we destroy and uncreate it. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, poor, poor, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So truth, have you decided that it's going to fail before you even begin? Yes or no? Yeah, that's what, right before you asked that question, that's what, that's like sort of the energy that, well, that's what came up. It's like, it's already not going to work before yeah. you do it. And so I'll try and then. Just to, just to prove that you're brilliant because you're pretending to believe that you're brilliant. <laughs> Something so, like that. Yeah. Cool. So everything that is, we just run and create it. Yeah. Right, Mungin, Bad Pon, Poco, Nine Shorts, Boys and Beyond. So, what jails are you using to create the dominance of E equals MC squared? As always, destroying your business before you begin, are you choosing? So, everything that is times a gazillion, we just run and create it all. Mm -hmm. Right, Mungin, Bad Pon, Poco, Nine Shorts, Boys and Beyond. And everywhere you. Okay, so everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive the brilliance of you and the gift that you have to offer the world. We destroy and uncreate at all times a gazillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, porn, pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Everything that doesn't allow you to actually like be no perceive and receive how many people are actually waiting for you to create classes. Yeah, I think I, I know that and I've acknowledged that and there's something there. I think it's like I've decided they won't work already or something. Yeah. Because I do know that and I do know that that the information I can give and the facilitation I can give is valuable. Yeah. And like there's something there that sticks and... Cool. So truth, is it just that you've decided it's going to fail before you actually begin? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So... Cool. So again, all the decisions you have of your business, everywhere you've decided that it's going to fail before you begin, everywhere you have decided it has to fail, because if it doesn't, then you'll have to truly step into the power and potency that you know you be. Mm -hmm. We just yeah. don't create it all times and consilience. <laughs> right, no, I'm getting bad fun for all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So truth, is it just that you're not willing to step into the power and potency you truly be and change the world? <laughs> 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 yes i <laughs> i thought i was but fucking yes I don't know. awesome <laughs> so everything that doesn't allow you to choose that in totality we just straight and create at all times yeah. right Thank not getting bad pun book all nine shorts boys and beyonds because here's the thing it's like where are you not willing to make yourself so uncomfortable that you step into a new level of power and potency that you didn't even realize was actually possible because like literally before this call, I was almost like shitting and vomiting myself because I was like, there's 200 people on the call. I've yeah. never done that before. And it was like this like level of like such almost like discomfort. But I knew it was like everything showing up, all the points of view I had, everything I decided about myself as a facilitator, that literally I just had to step. Okay. <laughs> I just had to take two extra steps. To actually so, then, yeah, go. Everywhere I'm, ask, I, everywhere I'm asking for that and actually not willing to choose it, will yeah. just <laughs> create that all. Yeah. Everywhere you're pretending to actually choose it when you're not, we just try and create it all times like a gazillion. Yes. Right, non getting bad, point and pork, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what if it literally just is a choice and also the willingness to to commit to you every day and just join and create all the projections and expectations you have of your classes, of mm -hmm. the sessions that you do, everywhere I'm not willing to commit to me to out-create what I've created yesterday, everywhere I'm not willing to get so uncomfortable that I feel like I'm going to shit and vomit myself. <laughs> like, what if you literally just did clearings? Like, are you actually willing to commit to you every single day? Or is it just when it works for you? Yeah, well, I haven't, I've, yeah, okay. So I'm going to start doing that. Thank you. Cool. And just, and one more thing, like everything you're, anything and everything that you're hiding about this. Yeah. That if you actually unhit it would change everything. Will you just try and uncreate all of that? Mm -hmm. Right, non good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Because there's something else there, but I get that it's not for now. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe re-listen to this as well. 
<laughs> Everyone has homework. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. Ashley? Yes, honey. Who have we got? Do we, uh, do we have time for a question? Yes. We okay. can ask another question. Okay, so we got a question in the Hungarian groups, and Aniko is asking that she got a problem to ask money for her classes. Mm -hmm. um, she is not. Um, she doesn't believe that it's actually valuable for the people. Um, how can she upgrade this point of view? Cool. So she doesn't believe she's valuable or she doesn't believe that the class is actually valuable? Um, she is talking about the class here. Okay, cool. A buzz class? So, yes. Um, I guess. Let me just ask. Okay. By the way, just FYI, I didn't shit have on myself if anyone's wondering. So <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> when you choose comfortable, it doesn't happen, even if it really feels like it's going to happen. <laughs> Another problem. You're a nurse. It's all good. <laughs> exactly. Look, my partner can clean me up. It's fine. <laughs> bottom pocket, bottom pocket. <laughs> yeah, I know. Absolutely. <laughs> so I might just run, I'm just wondering what are the clearings? I did write a few clearings down here. We might do some clearings while we're waiting. So um, what, oh, cool. So what problem have you created? So you can never let go, that you can never let go of to ensure you never have to engage to create the world and the business that you know is possible. So everything that is times a gazillion, we just ran on create it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So what problem have you created that you can never let go of to ensure you never have to engage to create the world and the business you actually know is possible? Ouch. So everything that is times a gazillion, we just ran on create it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And what energy, space, consciousness and choice magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities, can you and your body be to engage with the quantum entanglements of the elementals to create a catalytic, catalytic conversion and more bums on seats than you ever imagined possible with total ease? And everything that doesn't allow that, times a gazillion, we destroy and create it all. Right now, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So for those of you that don't know, the elementals are the elements on the periodic table that basically don't exist, but exist. They just haven't actually been, um, science have, hasn't discovered them yet as such, but they're actually the elementals that the molecular structures that when you ask for something and you receive it almost immediately, like it actualizes straight away, you're actually engaging with the elemental so much that it literally creates what you're desiring and asking for to show up as if by magic instantaneously. So that's a really cool clearing and you can even ask like, what can you be or do to engage with the quantum entanglements of the elementals for any of your class creations for, for anything that you're actually asking for to create as and for your business. So, okay. We are back. Okay. <laughs> um, so she been on a class and she got so much out of the class. So mm -hmm. she wanted to share this. Uh, with with others, so she created a, um, a class or even she wasn't about to create it But then she was thinking about who would you pay for this information for this knowledge for this um, Experience so she didn't believe the value of herself mm -hmm. or the value of her knowledge cool, okay, so Okay, cool. So everything that brings up and everything that brings up for any of you and every way you're not willing to acknowledge the value and the gift that you be, whether you've, you know, whether you've done an access consciousness class or not, where you just straight and created all times a gazillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And everywhere you're 
not willing to value what you have to offer, which equals you destroying your business. We destroyed and created all times a gazillion. Right, mum, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what if truly it was a willingness to make the demand of you to actually see the value of you and pot and pock everything that doesn't allow you to actually be no perceive and receive the value of you. So right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And if you got so much out of the class and if it changed so much for you, who says that it's not going to change so much for everyone else? But it's just the decisions that we've made about what we see as valuable and not valuable that literally destroys the creation of our business and destroys having people like show up in our classes. Because the more I'm willing to value me as a facilitator, the more people actually show up to my classes, the more bums on seats I have, the more people I get contacting me to have a facilitation session. So everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive the value of you. And I mean like the true value of you, the value of what you have to offer, the difference you be and the value of that too. We just joined and created all times a gazillion. Right, long, good and bad, pond, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Oh, that had some energy to it. So everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive the value of you, the value of what you have to offer, the value of your classes, whether it's an access bars class or any other class you create, and every way you're using that to destroy your business, we destroy and create it all times a gazillion. Right, long, good and bad, pond, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And what jails are you using to create the dominance of E equals MC squared? Is never seeing the value of you and always seeing the problems of you keeping you from what you actually know is possible to be created with your business. So everything that is times a good zillion, we just try and create it all. Right, mom, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and yours. So is that lighter? Is that a contribution? Is there anything that you'd like to add? Yeah, she said it, it's much lighter and it was a huge contribution. Awesome. Yay. Thank How you does very it get much. Better? You're so welcome. <laughs> Literally, guys, it's just like the, like you're all brilliant. Like you're all amazing. And it's like we all have something different to offer and gift the world. Even if there are like hundreds of thousands of bars facilitator, it's like we all offer something different. And it's like people are going to choose who they choose because they choose them. Like there's nothing that you can do. There's no way that you can sell your class to make people choose it more. And truly, if anything, this is what I've learned over the last 12 months of having an access bars business. No matter what I said to people, no matter how much I tried to convince them that they needed to choose the class because it's changed my life, it more so pushed people away. But when I actually began to really start to engage and really actually just instill that question in people's minds and just ask them, well, what do you know? Like, what would this create for you? What would your life be like in five years time if you choose this? It really gets them to actually see a different possibility. And it's like that engagement that would actually will create them either choosing the class or not. But if they don't, they were never going to choose it anyway. So, so everywhere you, so all the decisions you have about sales and that you have to sell your business and tell people why they should choose it. And if you don't, no one's ever going to choose your classes and you're going to make no money and you're basically going to be homeless. But you just don't credit all times a gazillion. Right, one good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Um, just like a quick example, like I had someone um, contact me a few hours ago about um, doing one of my foundation classes and she lives in Pakistan. And she said that... Um, Class starts at 8 a.m. in Australia, which is 4 a.m. in uh, Pakistan. And she said, I don't think that that's going to work. It's early. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be up that early. Can we change the time? So it's all like what she's done is she's like concluded and made decisions that doesn't work for her. It's going to be too early without actually asking questions. 
So what I've done is I've come along and I've like been that like bioenergetic nurturing. And I've said to her, like, what do you know? Like if the time wasn't actually a factor and that wasn't a problem, will this class create the future that you know is possible? Will your body actually require the extra sleep or would your body just be super excited to be in class? And then I just left it. I was just like, choose what feels like infinite gratitude, Ashley. And I may never hear from her again, but it's like that engagement that is instilled a possibility into her universe to maybe start choosing something different or asking more questions. And how many of you have had someone that has asked you a question or instilled a possibility in your world, even if it was 10, 20 years ago that you still remember that you like keep coming back to that it comes up every now and then and it reminds you and you're like, Oh yes, that one question. It's like, what if you were willing to be that for every single person you come across instead of buying into the conclusions and the decisions that they'd made? What if you were willing to invite people to a different possibility, the possibility and the life that you know exists. And like I said, it's like consciousness has your back. If you're willing to truly create the planet as a greater set of choices and a greater set of possibilities, you will have more people showing up in your class than you know how to handle. And again, it's, not probably, it's probably not going to be the people that you engage with. But let me tell you, the people that I engage with and get on the phone with always choose my classes or always choose a session without me even having to talk about it. So what is actually possible for you that you don't think is possible for and as your business? that if you allowed the possibilities would actualize a totally different reality. And everything that doesn't allow that, times a gazillion, we destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, point and poor corner, and shorts, shorts, boys and beyonds. So what is actually possible for you and your business that you don't think is possible, that if you allowed the possibilities would actualize a totally different reality. And everything that is, times a gazillion, we destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, point and poor corner, and shorts, boys and beyonds. Cool guys. So I think that we're about done. I had no expectations for this call. I wasn't even sure how long it would go for, but does anyone else have any questions um, that is in their world right now that I can contribute to? Otherwise you're welcome to contact me um, privately anyway. Um, thank you. Ashley. Yes. Sorry. I was just having one of these questions. Okay, like someone have came to me. Like she's always having anxiety and panic, panic attacks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and fear, fear of death. So like the whole thing is a destructive implant. When 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 I ask when when I start facilitating her by asking questions, mm -hmm. so she always refuses to believe on the questions or to apply them in her work. So even like the last time when she came to me, I told her that take a talk to the entity class because, mm -hmm. because you, you need it, your awareness need it because so you can expand. Mm -hmm. So she told me, uh, yeah, okay, but I need the right voice for you. So I told her, okay, whatever you want to choose, choose. Huh? And uh, like, I'm here if you need my help, if you need my contribution, but right now it's your choice to start your life. Mm -hmm. So for, for these kind of people who always come and start asking and asking and asking, but you know that they don't want to get out of this loop. Mm -hmm. So what do you should do? Favorite tool? Interesting point of view. <laughs> Interesting point of view that they have the point of view that they'd like to change the situation when I'm aware they don't. Interesting point of view. They have this point of view. And you could also ask them a question like, you could ask them, like, truth, are you really willing to change this? And everywhere yeah, you believe that you're responsible for everyone else and everywhere you're trying to heal the world and take everyone else's burdens, pains, sufferings, like, into your body, instead of actually being an interesting point of view about it, we just destroy and create it all times a gazillion. Yes. Right, monkey and bad, fun, popcorn, and shorts, boys and beyond. So what stupidity are you using to forever try and fix and heal people are you choosing? So everything that is times a gazillion, we destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what if you truly could just be interesting point of view? And what if you could actually, instead of asking a question with a full stop, truly ask a question with a question mark? Mm. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, it makes sense. Awesome. Cool. Yay. How does it get better? <laughs> exactly. Thank you. You're so welcome. Awesome, guys. I'm super, super grateful that you all chose to show up today. Um, if any of you would like anything to go any further with this, I am doing a three-part uh, telecall series called Exponentialize Your Access Bars Business. So we will literally be diving into all the juicy stuff that I've used to create my bars business. Um, engagement was one of them and I wanted to contribute to you guys and just give you something if you don't choose that class. It's 360 Australian dollars, which is literally exactly the same as uh, one bars class costs. So um, that starts in 13 days. There's three calls, which will be basically this time. So it'll kind of work for all of you that are on. So I will send your recordings in your follow-up email soon. A link to that if you choose to sign up, if it feels like for you, if it would contribute to you. And I've got an online foundation class starting in six days time as well. If any of you guys just happen to be looking for a foundation class. So thank you so much again for showing up. And being you and truly like what else is possible that you've never considered before and like what if your access consciousness business could actually be created with total ease total joy and total glory and what if you could actually finally quit your day job so i'm so grateful for everyone please feel free to reach out to me and say hi and all the thank, thank you guys. ashley <laughs> you're so welcome you're amazing you're amazing thanks everyone thank you, ashley thank you.